Irma Bombeck was the author of a weekly syndicated newspaper column during the 1970s and 80s. She wrote best-selling books and was a sought-after speaker. She described volunteers in this way. Volunteers are the only human beings on the face of the earth who reflect compassion, unselfish caring, patience, and just plain love for one another. I would like to say, as I look out at this sea of faces tonight, the term volunteer is not wasted here. I would say that every person here has volunteered time and talent and dollars and understands how important volunteerism is for a community of this size. It is my privilege to introduce one of two Fairfield Community Chamber of Commerce Community Volunteers of the Year. Before I do so, I will attempt to provide for you a brief description of this person's care and service to our community. This person su supports a great variety of local entities through fundraisers that in turn benefit a, an array of local uh, citizens. These ent entities include an African Violent Foundation, middle school students through the Rotary Benefit Auction, the Park and Rec Carnival, and the little superheroes whose grants help defray expenses for families whose children have serious medical conditions. This person's personal involvement includes work with Habitat for Humanity, benefiting local uh, citizens. Future business leaders of America, benefiting high school students. Elevate Iowa's program entitled Elevate Advanced Manufacturing, promoting career education to high school students. Being raised in Fairfield after graduating from Fairfield High School, this person attended Valparaiso University and sought a career in the Chicago area. Upon returning to Fairfield and joining the father's business, this person joined the Fairfield Manufacturers Association. The Fairfield Economic Development Association has served as board president. The Iowa Association of Business and Industry has been the chairperson has served as the board chairperson of the Fairfield Golf and Country Club, and in 2021 received the Step Ahead Award from the National Manufacturing Institute. More than once has this person been described as kind, generous, possessing strong family ties, and having an especially keen sense of concern and appreciation of the hometown and its community. It is to this end that this person encourages employees to volunteer their time as well. Wouldn't you like to know who I am describing? <laughs> Perhaps knowing that she is married to Nate. The names of her five children are Cammie, Jackson, Abby, Max, and Sam. And knowing that her father, Dick Smith, is also a Chamber of the Year recipient will help you. Please join me in recognizing as the Chamber of Commerce 2023 Volunteer of the Year and current president of Agra Industrial Plastics Company, Lori Schaefer Whitney. Whitney. Microphone. Ah! Oh my gosh. Well, I honestly, usually I know what to say. Like, I don't really have trouble talking. Uh, but I know what kind of room I'm in, and I know what kind of people I'm around, and I know what their achievements are, and so this is a little intimidating. Um, thank you so much. Uh, obviously, Everything I do, because I love Fairfield, I love Agra, I love all my shiny Agra people that are here tonight. Uh, I love all my you know, friends, family. I'm so fortunate to grow up. Oh my God, I just noticed our kids were here. Um, <laughs> okay, 
Um, I'm so fortunate to grow up with people like Dick and Judy Smith that set a bar so high for giving back to the community, being part of the community. And if not for that, like I, I know I wouldn't be this way. And so I remember sneaking in the back when I was in college when my dad got this award. And so to be up here is very surreal. So um, I just want to say thank you uh, to everybody in this room. Special thanks to my husband, Nate, who shares very similar values and is super supportive of all, all those things you hear that were like, oh, yeah, I can be chair of that. No big deal. You know, you take care of the five kids. <laughs> so um, special thanks to him, but really just to all of you for sharing this set of values and for giving back to a great place like Fairfield. So thank you, thank you.